Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing a review on the Sky RC IMAX B6AC V2 charger. Um, I got this charger a couple months ago now and I've used it and I really like the charger. So I'm going to show you a couple of the features that it does. Um, these are a couple of the cords that it comes with and a couple of the cords that I use. And um, it comes with some alligator connectors also. Okay, so first, just look, let's look at the outside here. This is our connector port for our main power that we use. Um, and this is our DC port, so we can plug it into um, DC power. And then there's a PC link, so we can plug it into the computer if we need to, and a temperature sensor, it looks like here. Um, I have not used either one of these features, or this one, actually. I've only used the main power one. Um, and then over here is your output positive and negative, and then your balance sockets here. So we have two through six cells here. So it's kind of, it's really nice. So um, let's plug it in here and see the couple of the features. So I just plugged it in to my outlet here, my power, into my charger you can see the charger powered on once I plugged it in. So now I'm just gonna plug my positive and negative negative bullet connectors in and then you can put any connector on that you want to charge. So this is the screen that you see when it, it turns on. So it's very simple. Okay so it tells you it's a life of battery balance charge is your setting you're on your two amp that's what you're charging at and then your voltage, I think that's what a three cell should be. Um, but that's pretty much all automatic. So to change, if you want to charge a different battery to change that, we want to just put stop and above the stop, it says battery program. So we push stop and it goes into battery program. So we can charge LiPo batteries and we're gonna arrow over here. We can arrow either, over either way. We can charge LiPo batteries, life batteries. Uh, I've heard they said that wrong. Um, lithium ion, I think that is. Um, LIHV, don't know what that is. Nickel metal hydrate batteries, NICAD, and PV battery. And then it also has a battery meter and tells you battery resistance and some system settings. And then it, it'll like memorize what your battery type is and how it charges. I don't know, I don't use that function ever. So I usually just use the LiPo battery. So we'll just push start and it, then it goes back to this. So if you arrow through here, you can see fast charge, storage, discharge, balance charge. Um, I'm never in a hurry, so I just use the balance charge. Um, I think that's the best one. So it just, it's the different charge type. I've got two XT30 batteries here and one of them's dead. So I don't know which one. So we can use the inboard battery meter. So let's just go over a battery program. Let's just go backwards to battery meter. And we'll push start. Okay, and nothing's plugged in right now, so you can see. Okay, this is a adapter that I bought separately. So I'm just gonna plug it into my beans connector and then plug my XT30 in. I don't think this matters what direction you do it. Okay. So now I'm just gonna plug it into my 3S right there. Okay, so this says that it's 420 volts. So that's charged battery. So this is my charged battery. So this is the one that I need to charge. So I'm just gonna push stop, not really have to. And I'm just gonna unplug it. Set it aside. And then I need to plug this one in. Push start. And you see this one's at 3.4 and I think that's a dead battery. So um, let's just X out of this. Go over to LiPo battery, push start, and this is a three cell battery. I didn't mention this earlier, but to change anything, we to change the amperage or the cell count, we can push start, and you see the amperage is blinking, so we could arrow it up if you want to change the amperage, or you can go down. I don't know, is there a max? Yeah, six amps the highest, and 0.1 amps is the lowest. I guess it usually uses 2 amp, I don't really know um, it matters, but 
So you can change that and then to go over to the cell count, you just push start again or enter and it goes over the cell count. You can change this and it's two to six cell you can change it to. So this is the 3S battery here. So I'm just gonna push start again and then I'm gonna press and hold start. Just battery check, confirm, just enter, cancel. You can see you can cancel it. I actually waited too long, so I'm just gonna push start. So now you can see my time's counting up and my voltage is counting up also. That's the main voltage for the battery. And that's the charge rate, I guess. I'm not sure what this one is here, so. I don't know, I, I really like the charger. It seems to be a great charger and there's a lot of awesome functions. If I push arrow over once, it tells me what the, each cells are at right now. And then the percentage of the fuel and per cell, what the average is, I guess. Um, and then we just push start to do that. If you ever push stop while it's charging, it's just gonna stop. It's not gonna ask you. It's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna stop. Um, so never push stop while it's charging until after it charges. Okay, so um, we're gonna go, we can push the other direction and then we push the other direction and it tells you what the, it's gonna be when it is full. Um, in power voltage, I guess that's, I don't know really what that is actually. Um, it tells you the temperature of it, which is really nice. So this is how much of a unit right here the temperature is, which is really nice. It tells you that. Um, Time that again. Uh, temperature cutoff. So it goes up, if it goes up to 50 degrees Celsius, and it starts to get hot, so it doesn't catch fire. It shuts it itself off, which is a really awesome feature. Um, I keep accidentally getting out of there. A safety timer. So if the battery takes more than 180 minutes to charge. It'll shut itself off, which is another safety feature, which is really nice. Um, this thing keeps timing out on me. Capacity cutoff, so if we have a if we have a battery trying to charge more than 8,000 milliamp hour, it will um, stop charging. And I think we can actually change that. Let's see here. No, I guess we can't. We might be able to do that in settings, I think. We can go through that too. Um, so we got a capacity cut off and then it goes back to end voltage. So after this battery charge, we'll come back and show you what to do then. Okay, so you can see here that it is finished. It um, says end finish and it actually makes a bottom left corner that is how when many it's finished. Volts is and in it. the right corner how many so of hour it put in the battery. So that's kind of cool. So there's the charger for you. I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, please like and consider subscribing to my channel. Um, if you got any questions, please comment in the comments below. And if you got any suggestions on new videos, please also comment that below. And um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.